Hey guys, welcome to day 109 of my carnivore journey. I hope you guys are having a great day, um, and I hope you're having a good journey also. I really do. Um, so I got some things to tell you. Uh, one is I had a duck egg. And I know some of you out there are going to be like, yeah, man, I've had duck eggs, blah, blah, blah. You know, like, look, I had a duck egg a long time ago, so much so that I can't really remember the experience. I don't think I, you know, appreciated it probably at the time. So this was kind of the first time for me to really try to savor a duck egg. You know what I mean? So I was, you know, pretty excited. Uh, but today, all in all, I didn't really have a snack. I just didn't feel like eating really until I don't I didn't eat until dinner. Um, and it's not because I didn't really want to. I just I kind of stayed busy and I was satiated from the night before. I, I just didn't feel like the need to eat. To be honest with you, I just kind of stayed busy. I had energy. I was in another part of the area. It was about because, you know, my job takes me, you know, almost an hour and a half away at times. Um, and so I was, you know, in a, in a pretty far away town uh, on the edge of my territory, if you will. And I decided to stop in there to one of the local supermarkets on the, you know, because I was like, well, I saw it. It was like right there. The parking lot was right there. It wasn't like this big, you know, it was a small town. So I figured I'd just dip in there, be real quick. It's right, you know, it's like right there. So I went in there and I looked at their, I went back to their meat department and lo and behold, they had just regular like Gwaltney thick sliced bacon, which normally I pay like four seventy nine. They had it for three forty nine on sale. Like they had an extra fifty cents off on top of the three ninety nine they had it marked. So I was like, heck yeah! So I grabbed like three packs. <laughs> um, probably would have grabbed more, but I just you know I just went ahead and grabbed three, and then um. I grabbed another little thing of heavy whipping cream while I was there because uh, the, the price on it wasn't too bad. So went ahead, checked out, left. But right before that, I'm going to back up just a touch. Right before that, I had a customer. And like I said, when you have when you talk to customers all day long, like in their home, there's customers you're just going to run across that are easy to talk to there they get you get along with them they might ask you questions um you get talking about things one conversation led to another because the wife and the husband started talking about their diets and then you know come to find out the the one um the the woman she was kind of doing more of like a, a ketogenic style um mostly a lot of organic stuff but but more kind of keto based natural I was like well I do carnivore and she was like really she's like I've been thinking about it and you know I would really like him to do carnivore so I spent some time talking about my experience with carnivore and things well then when I go to leave she gives me 18 eggs like farm fresh eggs because they have chickens that they have range that are like just free roam, you know, like eat bugs and grass like a good natural diet. And so they and I'm not going to pass up those. So 18 eggs. And I think if you're looking at if you see the picture, if you're looking at the picture, there's one that's marked in the in the right corner with a D. And that's the duck egg. She's like, she's like, have you had duck eggs? And I said, honestly, I said, it's been so long that um, I can't remember the experience. I said, but I have, I had, I have had duck and duck eggs, but it's been like so long. So she substituted one of the smaller eggs for a duck egg. And she's like, well, we pretty much eat nothing but the duck eggs, to be honest with you, because we get enough of those. And we get so many eggs because they had like a ton of chickens and everything else and apparently ducks. 
I didn't see the ducks, but I, the chickens were, I, there was multiple chickens around the, the property. You know, when I went to the store and I found the bacon, I'm like, I'm having bacon and eggs for dinner, <laughs> you know? So I went home and I had, uh, I took four of the eggs and the duck egg. Now I'm going to show you this picture. This picture here is, it's not the duck egg on the left. The, 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 the egg that's by itself is a store-bought egg. So I want you guys to see the difference in yolk color. Because, you know, a lot of times people will talk about it and maybe you, you'll see it. But, and sometimes your store-bought eggs may look pretty rich in color to you. But when you see a regular farm-raised egg, they just have that much more orangish tint deep yellow if you will and you can see the difference in 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 the picture i mean i can definitely tell so um but i really wanted to show you guys because i think it's important to see that even if you buy decent eggs from the store compared to home raised chicken type things okay like if you know people if you can get them and i know some of you do but i i'm just trying to show the people that don't have that type of experience right um so anyways i scrambled up the four eggs and i made i made the duck egg over medium because i wanted to make the duck egg special i wanted to experience it in my favorite way which is over medium i love runny yolks don't like runny whites so over medium um so Here's the next picture. This is what I ate. This is this is what it looked like. So there's the four eggs and the duck egg and, of course, the bacon. Now, the bacon, I didn't eat all that bacon. That was just I made two packs of those the bacon. Um, I just made them the bacon chip way. Um, and then I just snack like I just snacked on it. I probably had about, I don't know, six or seven pieces of bacon, though. I mean, not just bacon chips, but I'm saying I probably ate like 20, 24 pieces of, of bacon, like quarters. That's why I said total about six or seven whole pieces of bacon. Um, and then the four scrambled eggs, uh, I did just, now look, those eggs, if you, they're so rich in color. Um, and, and I just did salt and pepper at the end after I scrambled them. And by the way, I scrambled them in just a little bit. Of bacon grease. I didn't want to overpower them because I really wanted to experience the flavor of those eggs. So just a light thing of bacon grease. And then I scrambled those four. And at the very end, I did my Redmond salt, the fine Redmond salt, and a little bit of white pepper. So that's what I did for those. And then the duck egg, again, same thing at the very end. Like I do some salt and pepper for the over medium egg. And man, it was fantastic. The yolk, the duck egg, the the all the eggs were great. Um, the duck egg, the yolk was thicker than what I expected. It was, it didn't just like run out. It was more almost jelly consistency in a way, I guess you'd say. Not quite jelly. There was a little more run than jelly, but really good. Really good. I even had to share with my son because my wife doesn't like runny yolks at all or whatever, so I knew I, I couldn't share with her. So with my son, I was like, dude, you need to come in here and try this. And I gave him a bite of the yolk part, and uh, I actually shared. And so he was like, dude, he's like, that's really good. And then I told him, yeah, by the way, that's a duck egg. He's like, what? <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, duck egg, fantastic. Uh, scrambled eggs, fantastic. Chicken farm fresh eggs, fantastic. Love them. Um, they just they're just rich and the nutrients, I'm sure, that I got from that. So happy. So I'm a happy boy today uh, when it comes to the food. If you're the kind of person that you need more, I mean, you could you could have had like a burger on the side or something, you know, you could always add more to this meal. Um, did I eat enough? I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm full right now. Like I'm I'm satisfied. This is the type of meal though I may not get good satiety for tomorrow. So probably tomorrow it'll probably be like 12 o'clock or so, and I'm gonna be wanting to have either some kind of meat stick or a couple hard boiled eggs. So 
I'm probably going to want a snack tomorrow. I'm just, I'm just saying. I just wanted to kind of point that out to you guys. If if you do these these type of meals where it's kind of lighter on the beef side of things, and there was no butter. Like I didn't use butter or anything. I, it was pretty much salt and pepper, but the flavors were just that much better than store bought eggs. It really is. By the way, the store bought egg did not go to waste. I actually put that over my dog's food. <laughs> so uh, I had some leftover um, meat from meat gravy from um, when I made my family some biscuits and gravy. They, there was some leftover meat. It wasn't meat for me because there was like there was still some traces of gravy left on it and everything. I'm just like, you know, I'm not going to worry about it. So the dog got to have some meat with a an, an egg over it. So doggy's happy. Um, let's see. Was there any other pictures I needed to share with you guys? No, I think that was it. Um, as far as, oh yeah, look what came in the mail. Oh, my egg white powder, right? Egg white protein. Look, I got this. This is highly rated and again, not super expensive, but now this will, I hope, help me to make that mac and cheese from uh, Chris Cooking Nashville, the carnivore mac and cheese, which of course I'll share with you guys uh, how that ends up. Um, but you guys need to let me know. Do you want to see more? Any, any? Do you want to see me actually do some recipes on some things? Like, do you want me to make a few videos where I'm cooking some of this stuff, or do you do you want to just see some? Do you want to see reactions? Like when I had the duck egg, did you want to actually see me react to it in real time? You know that kind of stuff. Let me know if you have any of those type of suggestions. The inspirational quote from, from today comes from Dale Carnegie. And this is develop. And by the way, if you guys hear that stuff in the background, hear it. That is because my wife's bedroom is right above me. Like her studio, like bedroom, I call it my wife's bedroom. Her studio is like right above me. And, you know, so when she starts moving around a lot, squeaky floorboards and it's coming right into my studio so kind of sucks but um but anyways we we learn to deal with it anyways so this quote dale carnegie develop success from failures discouragement and failure are two of the surest stepping stones to success okay develop success from failures Discouragement and failure are two of the surest stepping stones to success. And, you know, for me, my only take, like, obviously, you can read into that, you know, probably a few different ways, really, because some of these things have multiple layers and meanings. But clearly, this is telling you in that first step, you know, uh, you you have to have failures to succeed, right? And I think there's been other quotes similar, right? But um, but learn to develop success from failure. So I like that he used the word develop because um, it, it doesn't mean you're just going to automatically you're going to fail and then you're just going to succeed. I mean, you have to develop that success, um, like the other quotes and things like that it's like you have that power like you take that action right um and of course discouragement and failure are two of the surest stepping stones to success so discouragement and failure i mean these things for sure go hand in hand i mean how many times have you or you know even myself have failed at something and we're just like, we get discouraged sometimes especially diets right this is a diet channel so i'm going to relate it to diets Right, because that's what you guys can relate that to. I mean, how many times it's like, you know, you just fail and fail, and then you know, just get discouraged. And what happens when you, get, when you give up on dieting? Then you gain weight, and it, you get into that vicious cycle. Eat, gain weight. Oh, I gained weight. I need to eat because it makes me feel better. Eat, I feel better, but now I have remorse. And I hate myself. I just gained weight, so I need to eat, make myself feel better. See, it's just a vicious cycle. Anyways, so guys, learn from your failures and overcome those stepping stones of, you know, those stepping stones, exactly, like, step on them, 
you use them to you know, move up the ladder. So guys, we will see you. I hope that helps. We will see you guys tomorrow. I appreciate all the love out there that you guys constantly give me. I really appreciate it. Guys, let me know in the comments any thoughts that you have. Let me know where you're at. I, I haven't had many people lately um, tell me where they're at. I know there's quite a few of you that was telling me about your journey, but I haven't heard much lately. So I really hope you guys are, on, are not just avoiding me because you're ashamed of something. Guys, it's okay. Like, we need to be honest with each other and help each other out. So, all right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. We're almost, we're getting within that 10 day period of our first chapter two um, goal, like benchmark, you know, like our first way in for chapter two. All right, guys, we'll see you, see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>